Welcome again, Room 32, to another how-to video. This video will be focusing on how to access Think Central, which is where our Journeys curriculum is located. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so you guys have a little better view. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the icon Think Central at the bottom of my screen. And once you're in, you're going to go ahead and click on My Library. Okay, try that again. It took a while there, my apologies. Once you're in my library, you're going to be able to access the Journeys uh, Student Reader. All right, so it's called Student Ebook in this right here. Okay, you can see it says Student Ebook, and I'll just uh, blow that up a little bit for you. Once you click on Student Ebook, you're going to need to select on this screen Book Two. Once you're in book two and it's loaded up, we'll give it a moment more here. You're gonna have access to the story of the week, just like you would if you had your journeys book. To access that, you're gonna choose content on the left-hand bar. When you click on content, you're going to select unit five. Okay. Once you click on unit five, you will be accessing lesson 23 starting on Monday after spring break. All right. Lesson 23. And from there, you can start at the beginning of the book and click on Vocabulary Context. Vocabulary and Context will give you all the vocab words with their context clues to go with them. All right. And my internet's kind of slow, so I apologize for the delay. One thing I like to do personally is I like to do the two-page view. Now, if you want to see two pages, just like as though you had your hard copy of the book, you can choose page view over here. And when you click on page view, click on the two-page option. That opens your book up just like you were... Um, looking at it as though your book was opened, your hard copy. The nice thing about this is you don't have to press down on the pages to keep a book open like you would normally with a hard copy. All right. Now from here, if you want to change pages, you can use the swiping method. So to go forward, you can swipe just like I did to the left, and so on and so forth. So this is how you'll access your journey's story each week. All right. Now, I'd like to go back to another part of the suite of Think Central. You'll notice that I do assign um, the close reader on Thursday. To access the close reader, you're going to uh, be in the library, and I just need to remember where it is. Give me a second here. Okay. Um, 
Journey's Close Reader. Okay. You're going to choose Journey's Close Reader, and it's going to open up another page for you. And then from here, you'll access the story, the close reader story for the week. Now, you'll notice it's a lot like we had on the uh, student book. We have the content and table of contents. Again, my internet's kind of slow, so if it feels like it's taking a while, you'll understand why. Now, there is a shortcut. Um, I will uh, try to make sure I include page numbers. And one way to get to the page quickly is to go to the top of your screen where it says Go to Page. If you click on Go to Page, you can actually type in the page and then the arrow to the right of that, and that will take you directly to the page number without having to um, click on extra uh, tabs to get to where you want to be. All right. So we're going to see if this would help. Okay. So that didn't take us any faster or further where we were trying to go. Other resources you can access. Um, we have the Journey's Audio Hub. If you just want to listen to the story without the book. Um, there's also uh, the Journey's... Um, Let's see, what was I looking for? Uh, I saw it a little while ago. Hold up one second. Okay. Well, I was quite certain I had seen it just a moment ago. It is the leveled readers. And at this moment, I'm not certain. Ah, there they are, leveled readers. When you click on the leveled readers, this gives you a chance to look at the leveled readers. Uh, vocabulary readers are available here. You can see the word vocabulary reader, as well as um, each of the levels that are available for your student. Now, the um, different levels here, the circle is a um, easier leveled reader, the green circle. The diamond is... Um, another level, a little bit similar to the um, circle one. The triangle is going to be your on-level reader, and then the square will be your above-level readers. Then you, you can access those, for example, if you click on it, maybe it will take you to all the level readers. So if you wanted to read the on-level reader for this coming week, you would go to Lesson 23, and it will open you another window. And again, you can use that same navigation bar on the page view, and you can put it into two pages. Well, okay, there we go. And look at it from two pages. You can also add the audio to this. All right. 
the audio will allow you to um, have it read out loud. Okay. And again, as it loads that page, you can click on the audio and it will do the reading for each of those pages. If your child wants to um, do that on maybe one day, have it read to them, they can read it to themselves on another day. All right. So I'm not having a ton of luck with that right now, and I'm not certain why. But normally you should be able to click on the play button and it should work. And try that at home. Okay, that's our how to video on how to access Think Central from Rapid Identity. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.